but 11 hours before the big homecoming dance, a high school senior has her dress stolen. But it, what is just as upsetting is what she and others were doing while the criminals were stealing. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl has more from downtown Detroit. Saturday morning, a group of high school athletes came to Detroit to take part in a charity walk. They parked in this lot with so many other cars, thinking it was safe. But when they returned, they found their stuff stolen and one student's homecoming dance dreams in jeopardy. We had our varsity swim team walking for uh, breast cancer, the ACS making strides. It was a day that started with so much hope and inspiration for members of the Redford Union High School's varsity swim team, but their hope flickered when they became victims of a crime. It was very upsetting. We were here for a good cause. We donated a lot of money. My girls worked really hard to raise money and they were proud to walk in this. and. This was our reward. The team swim coach says an attendant flanked them into this lawn on Woodward Avenue near Sibley, so they thought it was secure. Instead, they and about a dozen other vehicles became the target for thieves. Then we discovered what was missing, and that was my purse, one of my swimmer's purses, one of my swimmer's homecoming dress. I don't know why they would take a dress. It was a dress Emily Miller so carefully picked out, one that would sparkle alongside all the others, and it was gone. Last week we went shopping, we're all excited, and then to find out today that all of it's gone. They got my shoes, my ticket, my dress, my, um, my purse. Instead of missing her last homecoming dance and letting anger take over, the high school senior, with the help of others, got a new dress, one just as pretty, and one that comes with a tale to tell. I don't want it to ruin my night. Yeah, you know, just have fun. Hopefully when you're dancing and whatever, you just forget about it. The victims did file police reports with the Detroit Police Department. The break-ins are still under investigation. In downtown Detroit, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News.